Good morning guys. It is our next full day and we have just started what trail mom? Oh, the Western Brook Trail. The Western Brook Pond Trail which leads into where you would normally get a boat tour to go out into the gorge but it's cancelled this year because of the pandemic. This will still be my first time getting at least somewhat close to the gorge so I'm excited to see what the view is like when we get in there. not look like it on camera but I feel very sunburnt in my face. So first one was good. It was starting to get really hot towards the end. Um, when we were walking back there were a few spots where there was like no wind and it was getting really warm in there. But anyway we survived and then we stopped on the side of the road at the Gross Morn restaurant which is right outside of Cowhead. There's like a gas station, bakery slash restaurant, convenience store. Slash golf. <laughs> slash golf course. It's it's really hard to miss when you're on the highway up like past Rocky Harbor. But anyways, we stopped in there for lunch. It was actually really good yeah. and super cheap too. It was only like 30 bucks for both of us to have like two plates and two drinks. And then we came back here, got ready for our swimming pool appointment because that's how they're doing it with COVID these days. You book a one hour slot at the pool slash hot tub and nobody was booked in with us. We had it all to ourselves. It was awesome. Pool was perfect temperature. Hot tub was, well, hot, but it was nice. And uh, yeah, we just went back to the cabin, showered, got ready, and now we're gonna head into Rocky Harbor for supper and to do a little twacking around. So that is the plan. One more full day tomorrow. Just to get. I don't care for downpour. <laughs> We're planning on doing Shallow Bay Beach tomorrow, but apparently we're getting thunder showers according to the forecast. Don't care. <laughs> Mother doesn't care. So that should be interesting. The Liberty Cruise Ferry in Manhattan all over again. Wee, fun times. <laughs> it was kind of cloudy when we actually left Cowhead, but out in Rocky Harbor it's actually sunny again. Who knew? So we decided to come out to the Lobster Cove Head Lighthouse today. Okay, we may have had to wait till tomorrow, but we can do it today. You're a lonely sailor, and your soul is made of wind and rain, doubts and blame. I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is made of dust and grain, and spoiled champagne. I've got troubles, I've got sins, I'm my worst enemy. But I've still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? That's where we're gonna try and eat supper, guys. Earl's. So Earl's was closed. So we came back to Fishman's Landing. Don't you fashion look it up but I don't want it on in the car so I gonna just throw it over my head it's raining today we said we weren't gonna go out to shallow boat shallow bay beach this morning but uh, it's kind of raining so probably not the best idea so we're actually gonna go into Rocky Harbor first back into Rocky Harbor again today and finish up a few places that I wanted to check out in there probably have lunch in at Earl's if they're open Yep, apparently. Yesterday when we went up to the door, it said close today, open again tomorrow. So I'll try Earl's today for lunch, I guess. And then hopefully by the afternoon, the sunny cloudy period that we're forecasted to get will happen. So maybe we'll check out the beaches then. And then tonight we're just gonna have our last supper at the hotel. Yep. We were gonna do a nicer hotel, uh, hotel. We were gonna do a nicer restaurant in Norris Point for our last supper, but uh, we, they seem to be shut down. We drove out there the other day and there was like not a soul to be seen. So yeah, anyway, that's the plan for our last rainy day. So we popped into a few gift shops, supported a few local businesses, got some stuff on sale, which is kind of nice. We decided to come down to the beach here. 
in Rocky Harbor. Mom used to take me down here to play on the beach when I was little. Hi. So it's nostalgic. It's, it's so a lovely pretty. day. Yeah, it stopped raining for a little bit. <clears throat> Hey guys, me checking in again. Uh, we are actually on our way down to Trout River because we wanted something to do to kill some time for the afternoon. And it's sunny down here. And I'm gonna whisper so I don't scare the sun. But anyways, um, I wanted to take this time to pause the music for a second so I don't get copyrighted and to mention park passes. Some of you may have been to a Canadian park before within Parks Canada and you may have seen people with these in their dashboards and you may have seen signs like, oh, uh, make sure your pass is visible, blah, blah, blah. And the reason for that is even though they aren't enforced, it is a good thing to actually pick up one of these passes at the visitor center or even the discovery centers, basically any of the big inter information centers where Parks Canada employees work. Not only are these in vast support of the actual trail maintenance itself for all the trails and adventures that you and your family and friends and loved ones go on, but they also help keep job numbers up in the park, uh, especially for interpreters. interpreters and wardens and all these people that actually make the park a beautiful place for you to visit. Uh, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to give a shout out to the employees that keep this place running, especially this this season, this season where there's not as many tourists around, they're keeping it beautiful and running and all that stuff. So this is to support them and to make sure their job is there for them. So if you are planning on visiting a Canadian park sometime in the future, a couple years, definitely pick up your park pass. They're really not that expensive either. Paid 40 for us for this. Yeah. Family pass, family. no matter how many is on family. Yeah, it's for, for multiple people, a family pass, and I think it was around $40, $45. $40. Yeah, and it was good for like two and a half days. Yeah. Yeah, so super important, super helpful. Get your park passes, people. Hello guys, it is the last and final day of our staycation. We have just come to one of the bigger lookouts right before, or right after you enter the park, I should say. I almost left one of my teddy bears here once when I was little. Yeah, very scary. Back in Cowhead this morning, it's actually really foggy. And we come out here and it's like perfectly sunny again. It shows how much the weather can change in a small period of distance, I guess. We had thunder and lightning last night. So I woke up a couple times around 4 a.m. It was like a really big rumble and a lot of lightning. So I'm a little sleepy this morning, but that's okay. I might have a nap. And I think we're gonna stop into, water locked the door. I think we're gonna stop into the insectarium in Deer Lake too because I haven't been in there in years and I really want to see if the butterfly pavilion is open. It's like this big open greenhouse with a bunch of butterflies so you can actually like land on you and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. 